Hey guys, uh, Sam back here. Uh, usually I do one video a day on one on one market, but you know things happen fast in crypto, and since we're starting to get this <clears throat> this retracement that we've been waiting for, I thought I'd uh, just give you a quick update here. I'll try and keep this short, but there is something uh, to learn here that perhaps you haven't seen before that um, might be uh, worth a lesson. So here here we are. We're, I'm still on the um, eight hour. Uh, a Bitcoin on uh, against the dollar on Bitstamp, and you can see now. You know, we looked at this this morning as we were at, at this outside edge here. The 200 percent of the pitchfork. Well, we you know now we're getting that retracement that we've been waiting for. So, considering the strength of the market, it's it's worthwhile to put on the the uh, the 236 here, as that's lining up rather nicely with the channel here. So that's a contender, but. If we're going to go deeper, which is what we've been waiting for, you know, statistically, we know that the majority of wave fours happen between 25 and 38 percent. So, you know, the, 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 the challenge here <clears throat> is that if you start buying at the 23 and, you know, and you're, and you're looking for, you know, perhaps a second ad at the 38, which would be right at the median line, assuming we, we get there in the right time frame. You know, you've got a pretty wide, you know, that's um, from 54.40 to 51.90. So that's about a $250 range there. <clears throat> let me let me show you this over on the smaller time frame. So I'm back here now. I'm on the 15 minute where this has gone somewhat complex. So let, let me let me take some of this off here and, and show you what I'm looking at right now. So one of the things that, that ha can happen in a complex correction is that you get multiple ABCs, and that is connected by a WXY wave. Now, that, that sounds like you're getting into crazy complexity, but it's really not. The, the only thing happening in a WXY is that you're connecting two ABCs with an X wave. So we get ABC here. That's the W wave. Then we get an a, ABC that's counter trend. The X wave is always counter trend, and that breaks into three right? So count three being counter to our bullish trend. Where, where this gets interesting and what I posted just you know previously was that we get a five wave sequence here. So that implies an A wave. It's a leading diagonal due to the overlap in the four of the one wave. So we get a leading diagonal into the A wave. We get a B wave here that goes beyond <clears throat> the start of the X wave. So we get an expanded flat. And now we're going into some sort of a C wave here. So we got a couple of logical targets. You can see here from our two low, I've got the, the 38, and that's lined up very nicely. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> with the that little window that we look for when we're doing an alternate price projection. So let me let me let me draw it and I'll show it to you. So all I'm doing is taking the top of what I have currently labeled as this X wave and the C wave. I'm going down here to our to the low of our A wave, and I'm I'm comparing the A wave from the B wave, and we're looking for you know high probability range for the the C wave, and just like a third wave, if it's going to push beyond the hundred percent, which it has now, next targets for high probability would be between the 1618 and the 175. That's the highest percentage here. So if, if we're going to come, you notice that that lines up very nicely with the 38. Now, we've come to the 38 once before. So if we're going to push down there and, and get that, we, we set up for a potential double bottom. You can also see that we would go right into the to the window of the, of the uh, Vegas wave. So this is a contender here. If you were looking, you know, as we measured out those targets up at 6,010, now, if I just put a risk reward on that, say you're a buyer here at the front edge of this, and we go up to 6,010, well, I've got to scroll down a little bit. So if we go up to 6,010, which we know we had that FIB cluster, uh, there it is right there. So, I, you know, one choice is... <clears throat> You give this plenty of room, now, but here you know you're giving. Now you're only at a you know if you're going to go below the 65, you're less than two to one. So I would not suggest that. So one choice is to be tighter on this, so that if we break the 175, you want to be out, 
right? So if, if with that kind of a risk parameter, you've now got over a nine to one, assuming we're going to go to those targets on the larger on the eight hour that I showed you this morning of 610. So that sets you up for a nine to one risk reward. Now, you know, let, let, let's hope we get we get a little bit lower and that there's one more push down. You can see this potentially breaking into a five wave. So possibly we're getting a one, two, there's a three, we get a little retrace. And, you know, of course, you'd want to you'd want to check that. So from low to if if indeed this is going to be a swing low, we'd look for the 50 here. You'd, you'd look for a reaction right here between the 50 and the 618. I'm not saying sell it there. I'm saying look for a reaction because that's further evidence, further evidence that we're putting in some sort of a corrective impulse to complete this way, this C wave here. So actually, I'm going to, you know, want to put that, sorry, between the 38 and the 50, likelier target for the fourth wave, right? So again, it's not, it's not about a trade setting up here. It's about looking for evidence that we've got some sort of an impulsive structure here to complete this C wave. And that would set up nicely for the push <coughs> down. <coughs> Let me show you. So if we're going to go up here, then what we're looking for is one last push down here to this box. Yep. Click it so it stays. So that's a contender there. If we get there, you know, and for all we know that, you know, that's the end of it right there. We, I mean, that, that's that's possible. That's possible. You know, the market is, you know, this, it's very hard to find, a, a, you know, a, a, a low risk way to get in here because of the volatility. But if we get a little retrace here and then we head back down again, that would add add confidence to the entry here. Tight stop. Be, be tight on that stop, knowing that, you know, it's certainly possible that you're going to take a small hit there. And if that's the case, you know, it, we know we're at nine to one there. If you take that hit, well, there's a bit, you know, you can call it a get well trade <clears throat> down here. Same target. Now we do need to give it a little more room because we're, it, we'd be a buyer at the 50 right with a with a stop below the 65. So if you want to give it that much room, now you're at 3.3 to 1. If you want to be tighter than that because you don't want to give it that much room, we've got the negative two, uh the, pardon me, the 261 of this retracement. So, you know, a reasonable spot. So this this becomes a matter of you know, if that's too much if that's too much risk cuz we're talking about several hundred dollars here if you're a buyer at the 50, that's 53.40, a stop under the 65 is 51.50, that could be too much for many people. So you you could tighten that up based on what you're comfortable with, but there's, you know, five and a half to 1 with that same target. So if you if you take this, well first, we got to get it. And you know, looking at how the market's ripping right now, it's it's playing ball as I'm recording this. So look at this little reaction here. We're, as I'm recording this, we're getting the possible setup. So one of two things is happening right now: either we just put the low in, and we would be, you know, this, we we'd kind of be in between, just shy of the Vegas wave. So that that's a contender. What we what we'd like to see to get more confidence in this is this a little retracement here. And then the push down here. That would give this more validity so that we've got a five wave structure, the retracement down for the final push. If the stop is there, it's small, it shouldn't hurt you. Then the, you reload down at the 50 with that upside here of, you know, five and a half or so to one, depending on where you're filled. So I just thought I'd give you that that update because the market is is moving. We're getting volatility here on a Friday afternoon. You know, it's just this is how this is how you know this is how trading goes, right? You know, so you know, what what you think is a possible ro roadmap can change, you know, within hours. So you have to adapt to it. So there's a bit of a lesson here on the idea that the WXY, while it sounds complicated, is really just connecting to ABCs, and with any luck, that you know, we'll get one more push down, set up some nice juicy entries. Okay, guys, that's it for now.